medicinal signaling cells, I think is the current terminology previously was mesenchymal signaling cells and that's yeah. how we call them, um, stem cells. So many patients still refer to these things as stem cells that, yeah. um, FDC is regulating that and, uh, really more accurately, we're supposed to call them signaling cells because it's truly what they are. In the U.S., you have to re-inject uh, the tissue within 24 hours and it can't be manipulated um, beyond concentrating it. So uh, it should be FDA compliant. So that goes for adipose tissue and for bone marrow concentrate. And you have to re-inject it within the same tissue type. So you can't you know, transfer cells from a different lineage and put them in a place where, where they wouldn't necessarily belong. Initially, we thought the mesenchymal or medicinal signaling cells, which uh, are the lineage for musculoskeletal type of cells, bone, cartilage, um, muscles, tendon, were the cells of interest. It turns out, actually, so what we end up injecting is the entire bone marrow uh, aspirate, but concentrated down. So there's multiple different cell populations in there. And in order to identify how many um, medicinal or um, signaling cells you have, you actually have to culture them in a lab. And that's how many you get is dependent on the culturing techniques and the batch. So it's very, very hard to study, actually. There are some uh, ELISA panels that can look at markers on the cell, but um, I guess it gets kind of in the weeds with, with all of that. But what we do know is that in general, the number of total nucleated cells is an indirect marker for the number of medicinal signaling cells that are within that population.